Hi everybody, Marta Locklear here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come on and do an edit of these nine images that I had posted earlier in the Refined Users group. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I don't want to make this too long. But uh, this is all the images straight out of camera. And the main thing I want to show you is, or to point out, I should say, is the white balance variants. <laughs> so this is all shot with a Fuji GFX by Caroline Tran at the um, Illum workshop uh, by Heather Non. And, um, you know, the interior shots, very warm. Um, the still lifes were a little cool. This one's probably the closest to perfect white balance. Um, this is definitely very cool. It was a little overcast that day outside, and this one's probably close to pretty good white balance. So, as you saw in the um, image that I had posted in the group, that these, um, you know, I got them very consistent. They were very, a little warm, a little creamy. It's kind of what I want to go for. I met in the middle in the white balance, and I just want to show you real quick how I edited it. So, to get started, I actually picked one image that I wanted as the catalyst for my tones and I'll reference that image as I continue through to make sure there's consistency in tone so it all looks like it works together because right now it does not. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this image. I'm just going to get it in develop module and I'm going to go ahead and it's already sized she shoots 4.3 in camera which I do as well but I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it out a little. Let's go to, I did pure on these, and you can see right off the bat, pure, let's go ahead and get these side by side so you can see, already cools it down a little bit, but I'm just going to tweak the white balance to how I like it, and let's see here, I'm going to bring down, these whites are a little bright here, so I like to bring those down a little, and if you like a punchier image, all you have to do is push your contrast. The preset is built to, that the contrast gives you depth. And if you like your images a little softer, I actually edit for a photographer that really likes those shadows pulled up. And um, it's really about just lifting the uh, contrast. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead. I might end up coming back to that a little bit. <laughs> and that's it. And I added grain to these just to give them a little bit more of that medium format film look. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go on to my next image. And a tip for those that struggle with white balance, once you get an image that you love, um, what I suggest is uh, using the reference image tool. So right here, you click RA, pull up the image that you already edited. So say I'm working on this one is definitely very cool. There's pure on it, still very cool. This will help me visualize the temperature I need to get, um, the look I want. I want to keep a little bit of the blush tone in it, but I want it to work within the same tones that are in this image here. So for reference, there's the before and after. It would be harder for me when it's on its own to get this look. So if I can't visualize the white balance, because that seems to be something people struggle with the most, having a reference image up will get you a lot closer visually. So let's go ahead and go back to this one. So here, this one was actually pretty good straight out of camera. I really didn't do much with it. I think I actually pulled it down a little. There we go. Same thing with this one um, as in the other one. I just clicked pure. Forgot to add grain. And I'm going to mess with the exposure. Still a little cooler when I put it next to my reference image. So I just want to warm it up a little, give it a little more butter, a little more of that softer tone. That way they all work together. Same thing with the cake, pure grain. This is super fast editing, guys. There's, it, sometimes I think that we, including myself included, just tend to overthink. We have too many options at our hands and we want to just keep playing and tweaking. We're like, oh, do we want it this way? Do we want it that way? And really, it's just about picking a look and going for it and not wasting a lot of time on it. Um, let's go ahead back to the reference image. Let's do this next one. I'm clicking pure. Go ahead and click grain. There you go. And this one, I know I pumped the contrast a little just to bring out the depth of the, um, the double exposure. And this is amazing. And maybe we can... Uh, convince Caroline to give us a little tutorial on how she did this in camera because I want to learn that. 
Again, she used the uh, GFX. And here's Pure. This is also already kind of warm. You can tell the image started off pretty warm. But I'm going to go ahead and pull it down a little. And another thing, if you, um, let me zoom in here real quick. If you don't want to punch too much with the contrast, or you need to get a little more contrast to get some depth, you can lift some of the shadows up right here with the shadow tool. These are really the only tools I use right here. That's it. I, you can see I've not gone into anything else. The preset's already doing the work for me. So I work within my contrast tool and occasionally my shadows tool depending on the image that I'm working with. Um, and then of course white balance. I mean it's key. The preset is built with the color tones for film already built in. Now this one's very cool. So I actually did a little more white balance work on this. So here's pure on it right now. Still extremely cool. Um, great image and we could have gone with these tones if we wanted to initially if we chose this as the look that we were going for but I really wanted to kind of go for that warm buttery look because of the interior shots. Sorry guys, I'm kind of all over the place. So here's a perfect example of you know trying to find that warmth. I mean naturally I would probably go about here but when using my reference image I'm like no I really want to push this and almost make it look like a low sunset um, softness. And there's your difference. So visually I probably would have got stuck somewhere in this range but when I use my reference image I'm like that's just not enough. So it helps me push the white balance and kind of see the tones that I want to go for just a little more. Oops, and for the grains real quick for those that don't know the first grain is closest to medium format. Second grain is kind of right in between, a little more 35 millimeter. And this one is more for your, it's a super, you know, heavier grain and it looks amazing on black and whites. Um, occasionally on some color images if you want that kind of uh, grainy, noisy, overexposed look. I mean, underexposed look, sorry. And there's that one. And I think we just have one more. And same thing, pure grain. And I think I picked this one up just a touch. And let's see them. And there they all are. I actually think I'm going to cool this one down just a smidge. It's starting to feel a little warm to me. And um, that's it. Let me see if I can get these side by side for you. So I just used Pure. And I could have done them all with Patina and um, Serene. Serene works really good on um, warm images if you need to cool them down a little or if you really want that washed kind of monotone look. Serene works really well for that as well. That's it, guys. Uh, happy editing, and I hope to be doing a lot more of these for you guys soon. Uh, please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you want to see certain things, I'm working on a white balance video and I'm actually looking for images for that so if you have white balance troubleshooting images send them to me and I will maybe add them into the tutorial on how to get work with tricky white balance situations. Thanks guys. Bye.